Hi guys, my name is Behruz. Welcome to final video of our Rust production tutorial series. In this video, we will be talking the uh, network module that we built in the last video and interfacing it with uh, our blockchain. Then we will be able to run the actual blockchain in a multiple different instance and see how each of the nodes communicate with uh, uh, another. So in a blockchain file, first we want to change the name of this method into mine block because we want to create another add block method to our blockchain structure and along with changing we need to change all of this line of code and functionality. Let's replace the add block with the mine block. Then we need to check the verified transaction. The transaction is valid and let's remove the moot from the verified transaction. Then to get rid of the this error, we need to remove the mootable from the verify method. After verify transaction, we get the last uh, block from the database and uh, create a new block with the current transaction and also with the last hash from the database and also we need to calculate the best height so for that we create another method to get the last hash from the database if it wasn't valid we return a negative one and also we need to get the last block from the last hash serialize the last data to the block and get a, a height from the uh, block we create another method into the block to get height then we are going to continue to save the new block to the database and serialize the new block and also save the last hash uh, to the database and flush the db to save all of these functionalities and at the end we pass the uh, hash of the block to the current hash and return a new block. Now let's uh, go ahead and create the add block method. This will be get a block. So just we need to serialize the block and save check uh, if the this block current block is already in the database we return okay otherwise we put them with the hash of the block and data to the uh, database then we need to get a best height from the uh, current block and then we check if the uh, block get block height greater than the last height we, ne we need to save the uh, this block to the database as a last block and also we need to uh, pass the current hash um, uh, we need to uh, pass the hash of the block to the current hash and flush the db to save all of these uh, data to the database and then we need to go back to the server and inside the handle block we call the self add block so we create another method and pass the block and also we use the inner to lock the lock the inner server and unwrap it and access to UTXO and after that the blockchain to access the uh, adding block to our blockchain here and along with the add block we also need to create a few other methods on our blockchain we need to a method to so that we can actually get a block based on a block hash from our blockchain and this will be return a block as you can see and also we need them to the server as you can remember uh, in the let me check in in the handle get data we call the this get block method from the server so we create a new block method and access to the utxo and blockchain to access the uh, uh, get block method and pass to the block hash to access the block now we need a method that will allow us to get all of the block hashes from the our blockchain so we create a get block hash in the blockchain and return a work of string so we create an empty work, then we walk through in the, our blockchain to get the block, then we push the, each hash of the block to the list and return the list. We need to access this 
method from the blockchain to the server as you can remember uh we in the handle get block we need to access the get block hash so uh, after that we use the utxo and blockchain to access the get block hashes before we implement our server to cli we need to change the type of the height to i two 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 and uh, we find all our all error to fix uh, this let me check where we use this in here so uh, last height must be i32 and let me check here also for creating a new block uh, height here we pass a height as the i32 so you need to change also here and let me check okay so in the CLI command we create another command for starting a node so here as you can see we create a star node and as our argument we need to get a port to start our node and we here we check if the command is the star node we get the port create a new blockchain pass pass the blockchain to the UTXO set, create a new server and pass a port to them. We pass the empty miner address and also UTXO set and start a server. And we can also uh, now pass in this, this mine flag, which will be tell the node uh, we want to mine the transaction with that node and we can use this when we don't have any miners attached to our network. So this will allow us to create multiple blocks and in our, block, in our chain and before we have to connect our miner node, we can mine the block also. After that, we need to modify some uh, functionality in send command. So, uh, <clears throat> First, we need to check if the ma if the uh, command contains a mine. We need to create a method to handle uh, the mine or not. It's not mine. So we create a CMD send to create a new blockchain and pass it to UTXO set and create a new wallet. Get a wallet and also uh, uh, we create a new transaction and pass the wallet here before we have a from address here so we need to pass which uh, rename it with the wallet remove all uh, functionality from the get wallets here uh, and then we need to another changes uh, i think here before we had the from to get from to restring we change it to wallet to get address and uh here we go uh we don't need to change anything else after that we create our transaction so if the flag was mine block so we create a new coinbase from the transaction and then in the utxo we mine a block we created before as if you remember and update the utxo set if it wasn't a mine, so we send a trans we create another method in the server send transaction to send uh, the you, uh, the current transaction we want to mine from the other blocks uh, other miners. So we pass them to the server to send to the all nodes they can uh, mine. Then we print the success and okay and. If you we need we don't need this functionality here because we put them all to the CMD function. So let's remove them. Then we create the start miner command to create a server who can mine. So we use a, we need to pass a port and address. Address must be wallet, and also we use the port. So uh, we check if. Uh, uh, here if we if we the if command was start miner we get the port and address we create a new blockchain pass them to the utxo set in this time we instead of the empty address for the miner we pass the address and port so uh, and the utxo and we start the new server 
So before we go to the CLI and test our blockchain, I do some, I did some modification uh, to create uh, some functions uh, to put all of the code from the if statements and put them to different function for create, for example, for create a blockchain, printing list addresses or reindex or create a wallet. I did some uh, modification here as you can see uh, so i push this code to the github to to show you can make sure you can access this code to change your code and also maybe i do some changes on entire blockchain file uh, if you have some error you can copy all of this code to your code and test the your blockchain so let's go to the cli and test uh, our uh, uh, blockchain.